What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 26.2 beta 3 to register developers and soon to public beta testers. Now along with this release, we also got the third beta for iPadOS 26.2, watchOS 26.2, macOS Tahoe 26.2, and tvOS and HomePod version 26.2. But of course, like always in this video, we are talking all about iOS 26.2 beta 3 and everything new in the update. So let's start with the new build number here. So if we head into our settings and go into general and then into about, we can see that the new build is 23C5044B. So we do finally have a B at the end of the build number, which indicates we are getting closer to that final build, that RC and that final release. Now, if we go back here to the about section and then go down to the modem firmware, you can see for the iPhone 17 series, that's at 1.20.06. And you can see that before on beta two, it was 1.20.04. Five. So we did go up a little bit here with the modem firmware. So if you're having any type of issues with the modem or connectivity, those could be resolved with this modem firmware update. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 26.2 beta three? And the first thing is the big change in beta two was this new animation here for the menus. It's very much like what we saw at the Worldwide Developers Conference at the very beginning when Apple first unveiled the liquid glass design. And for some reason, this animation in the menus was missing up until 26. 6.2 beta 2 and you guys might have noticed like there were issues with the screen recording but also there were issues with the animation itself it was kind of jittery for some people I never really faced that issue but you could see here with beta 3 it is a bit smoother so the way it comes out is smoother than it was in beta 2 and if we go into our music for example and then tap on the three dot menu right here again this works anywhere where you have menus system wide you can see that the animation is a bit smoother and pay attention to the little menu up here here as well where it goes back into that is also smoother than in beta 2 so Apple is just refining these animations throughout iOS with beta 3 here and I really think that beta 3 as a whole is really more of a stability and a bug fix update anyway there's not any major changes we'll talk about the major change here in a moment but you know a lot of the things I've noticed with beta 3 after having it installed for a little while are just refinements and it just feels smoother now we also have an interesting new feature in iOS 26.2 beta 3 related to airdrop so if we go into our settings and go into general and then go down to airdrop we have a brand new menu option down here a brand new button that says manage known airdrop contacts and it says below that you will automatically appear for 30 days to people you have shared a one-time code with and when you tap on that button it just simply takes you to the contacts application and it shows you the other known contacts that you have right here you may have airdropped with in the past but you don't have them saved as a contact okay so I was able to get this feature to work and here's what you will see when you airdrop with an unknown device or a device that you don't have saved as a contact so it will say this right here it says use airdrop code share a secure code with people not in your contacts to use airdrop you'll be able to find each other for the next 30 days you can manage access in settings you can get a code right here from the receiving device and if I go ahead and try to send something you can see when you're sending something to that unknown device this is what you get on your end it's says airdrop code required so whoever is sending the content to an unknown you know person will have to get the code from that other person so this is the account that's like this is just like a stranger's iPad this is my device right here so the stranger will have to give me the code so I can go to get airdrop code and you can see it shows airdrop with Brandon Butch ask Brandon to enter this code on their device you will appear as m3 air that's the name of this iPad so now if I put in one 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 four if I put that in it says airdrop code required and it is loading right here I actually said that's the wrong code so maybe there's another one okay so there's the other one six oh two six five one so now once I input that that should grant access for the next 30 days so you can see it does begin to airdrop right there and it does say viewed so now the next time I go to airdrop to that other person and I go ahead and tap on their name right here to airdrop you can see that I will still have to accept it on this you know device so the other person will still have to accept it it's not just going to automatically go through even though you did this so I can accept it and then you know of course it will save it to my library and when you find this person and the other node section in your contacts it will say this right here m3 air you and this person will be able to find each other in airdrop when nearby for the next 29 days and it shows name found an airdrop and you can kind of see forget this person right there 
as well. Now this update also makes a change to the measure application specifically with the level tool. So as you guys know with beta 2 we got this brand new really slick really cool animation for the level tool here in iOS 26.2. It has this liquid glass and these kind of you know this little animation here which is really cool. It's these chromatic uh, you know aberrations in the background. So you'll notice there is a change here in beta 3. So it might be kind of hard to tell. You actually have to see it with the level. So if we go back to leveling right here like this you'll see a difference in the refraction and if you didn't catch it you can see the difference here so we have ios 26.2 beta 2 on the left beta 3 on the right so you can see that when you go at an angle there is a change in the chromatic aberration there so it looks better you can actually read it fully now in beta 3 there were readability issues before in beta 2 as you can see the bottom part of that 6 is just completely cut off so it's kind of hard to read so now the animation is not only smoother and it's more consistent with the way you're actually moving your phone but the readability is also better as you can see from this example right here there's also a new splash screen in this update so if we go into our settings and tap on our profile up in the top you will get this splash screen right here that says apple account and privacy apple account and privacy has been updated to better explain how apple collects uses and protects your personal information so i don't believe this is a brand new splash screen but it did just appear for the first time for me in 26.2 beta 3. now we might also be seeing some changes to apple intelligence in the eu according to mac rumors so they're saying that ios 26.2 might allow iphone users in the eu to replace siri with a third-party assistant like a Google Gemini or ChatGPT or something like that. And this is based on the wording that's used when you activate Siri. And you can see some of the code snippets right here. It says press and hold to speak is not available while the side button is assigned to blank. And then also you have side button settings. You have select another default side button application. The default side button app cannot be hidden and so on and so forth. You can see all of those right there. So there is a good chance that this means that you will be able to replace the default assistant with 26.2, which is going to be honestly a massive deal for the iPhone. That's something I never thought I'd be able to see, you know, become a reality. But because it's in the EU and, you know, the whole DMA, the Digital Markets Act, that is a possibility there in the EU. So we will keep monitoring this and I will let you guys know if anything concrete actually comes of this. Now, taking a look at the release notes here for Beta 3, you can see there's not really much mentioned here. So we do have that known issue for AirDrop that is still showing up here in Beta 3. We also have the new feature for Health Kit, and you can see some of the other minor things mentioned right here so nothing too you know noteworthy here to mention you can see that the watch face gallery still has that issue where the text is in English only so you can take a look at this I will leave it linked down below but there's not much going on with the release notes in beta 3. Now as far as performance goes I did go ahead and run a Geekbench 6 test you can see what we scored right here 3814 single core 9890 on the multi-core and you can see how that compares to the previous build so it is a little bit higher than what we scored on the previous beta and I have to say that it actually feels like it as well so not only are the animations more fluid like specifically the new animation that was just introduced in beta 2 it's become a little bit more fluid a little bit more smooth here with beta 3 but also just navigating around the OS when I swipe down to go into the spotlight search that pops up right away there's no delay there's no lag or anything like that when I go over to the widgets page right here you can see there's no lag there either so a lot of the lag a lot of the hitching that may have been there before not just for me but also from what you guys have told me and what you guys have reported with this third beta it does seem like the performance is going to be a tad bit better now when it comes to battery life battery life's a little bit hard to tell right now i cannot tell you if battery life is going to be better or worse after just using it for a couple of hours so i'm currently at 64 percent you have to let me know what i started with as i always say because it's hard to tell right away what battery life is going to be like i can't imagine battery life will be much better than what we saw in the previous beta because it's just been really good for me personally so I don't see battery life improving a ton, but we will have to see. And I will let you guys know if anything changes, of course, in my Apple Weekly episode on Saturday. OK, so now let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So next up is going to be iOS 26.2 beta 4. So we will most likely stick to a weekly release schedule. In that case, we should be seeing beta 4 on November 24th, potentially November 25th. Sometimes the Apple does switch over to a Tuesday, but nonetheless, we should get it in one of those first two days next week. And then after that, we could be seeing a fifth beta on the week of December 1st, or that could be the RC. It really all depends on what Apple you know, deems as necessary to fix before the final release. And then we should be seeing the final release on either the week of December 8th or the week of December 15th. Again, it will all depend on when we get that RC build, if we get a fifth beta 
or not. But since you guys always wonder about my opinion, I will just tell you that I do not think we're going to see a fifth beta. Personally, I think we're only going to have four betas for 26.2. However, there is a possibility that we have two weeks between the fourth beta and the RC. So we could be getting beta four next week, and we could be skipping the week of December 1st and going straight into the RC on the week of December 8th, and then the final release on the 15th. So that is also a good likelihood of how happening so we'll have to wait and see you know of course i will keep you guys updated with everything going on in the world of apple especially related to 26.2 but anyways guys there you have it that is ios 26.2 beta 3 honestly a pretty minor update of course the big change that we got is related to airdrop if we head into our airdrop settings right here and manage known airdrop contacts where you will automatically appear for 30 days when you share a one-time code with somebody but other than that, we just see some refinements system-wide, which is always a good thing in my opinion. But hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know all your thoughts down below and how this beta is running on your device. I'm always curious to see how it's running for you guys. But anyways, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon.